and she, <laughs> she was like, I'm so sad to hear this, but I understand, and I was like, oh my gosh, don't make me cry, don't break my heart, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. second and today is just going to be a chill relaxing type of day I'm not doing anything special currently on the to-do list is finish filming the clean with me fold laundry finish editing and watch Netflix Today is actually supposed to be like a real gloomy type of muggy day, so I'm glad, like, even though I spent all day inside yesterday, I'm glad I enjoyed three days out of the week for nice weather. Currently, it is 10.30. I am starving, so I'm going to fix myself up here and then go downstairs and make some scrambled eggs and toast. Here's the time to fold the load of laundry that I did yesterday, the load of clothes, so I'm going to fold those, and I thought I would just talk to you guys about a couple of things. So, what I'm going to be talking about is something that was very, very difficult to come to a choice about. It was very difficult to do. But unfortunately, this really was the best option because of the virus and what has been going on for the past couple of months. This definitely was the best choice, and even though it's sad, it's better for your safety. Like I said, even though it's sad, it's still better for your safety. So, unfortunately, due to the outbreak of the virus, I will no longer be attending work at the hospital. Even if the volunteers say that it is 
safe to go back. I will no longer be attending just because, I mean, just because there is health at risk, there is safety that's at risk. So, I mean, you just want to keep that in mind. So that is, whoops, these are inside out, I didn't even notice. Um, that is where I'm at right now. I will be now working from home and just making money as it comes, but unfortunately, that is the decision that me and my mom have come up with because it's just better. It is better, it is safer, and unfortunately, because we didn't know what the world was coming to at the time, we didn't know that harsh decisions and difficult decisions would have been made, but like I, like I say, it's better for your safety. Um, so now I'm going to put the laundry into the drawers. And let's do it. That didn't really take that long. Um, to be honest, I didn't think it would really take long. I didn't have that many things to wash, but I figured let's just get it out of the way. Because then it would have turned into how would have turned into a bigger load if I had waited. So now that all the clothes are put away, we're done. Okay, so I just ended my clean with me video that I'm going to finish editing and get it up for you guys for tonight, hopefully, if not tonight, tomorrow. So I'm going to do that, edit this vlog, and then just keep going with the day. I'm going to watch some Netflix. I'm going to, like I said, keep editing. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. I never continued vlogging yesterday. Things just got a little crazy and honestly boring, so I stopped vlogging. So today is Monday, August 3rd. I just rolled out of bed, got myself to look decent. I have been sleeping pretty well since I washed my bedding over the weekend. I know for the next like one to two weeks I'll get I'll be getting a really really good sleep. Um, but you guys, this morning I just checked my email. I can check it on my phone or my laptop, and I just received the world's like, sweetest but saddest email. I got an email back from my, um, what you, what you gonna call it? Uh, recruiter boss person from the hospital. And she, <laughs> she was like, I'm so sad to hear this, but I understand. And I was like, oh my gosh, don't make me cry. Don't break my heart. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, stop trying to make me cry. Stop making me, like, feel like a complete not right person for doing that. So I got her email and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I feel so, not guilty, I don't even know the right word, not guilty. It's not guilt, it's... Oh, I don't know what it is. Fortunately, though, this was the best option for my safety so that I'm not too much of at a risk just due to the outbreak. And there we go. Not showing my eyes again. Um, but it's for the best. And she completely understands. It's just so keep connected with me. So that's a good thing. And the reason why it was so sweet is because she... She was like, we're grateful for all the hard work that you did. We're grateful. We love the respect that you showed all the patients and volunteers. And, oh my gosh. But, I just can't. I'm going to cry. 
Anyway, anyway, enough with the emotions, enough with the tears. It's almost 10.45. I'm going to go downstairs and get some cereal or something to eat. Alright, so the time is almost 12.30. Everything is cleaned up. There are some dishes in the sink, but there's literally two bowls, a meat cutting board, a knife, and a cup. Look at all this temptation, and there's more in the bag down in the basement. But look it, this was part of our grocery trip. But I thought I would show you guys a grocery haul, starting with the unhealthy stuff, and we'll work our way down. So we have some candy, just your mixed candy. Fridge-wise, we have some deli meat. We have some sandwich buns. We have eggs, but we can always go to stores and get some more. Uh, Freezer-wise, we have butter, butter, bacon, all your type of, types of meat, cheese, chicken, pork chops, frozen veg, more meat down here, bananas. Cereal over here, we have Chex Mix, Trick Cereal, that's not really my favorite, so I stick with this. This is my mom and mine favorite, and my favorite. And up here, we just have, like, our pastas and noodles and, uh, what do you call it? Seasonings and oatmeal, stuff for oatmeal, crackers and macaroni and cheese and that blue thing right there, granola bars, probably not mine. But mine up there, the brown thing right there, I'm excited because they're new rice cakes. They're caramel corn flavor. I'm really excited to try those. They sound really good. Oh, and I also forgot to mention we also have, well, we, we have milk and orange juice and all that fun stuff. And my sister also got me again the apple cinnamon rice cakes because I really do like those so I have apple cinnamon down in the basement pantry and the caramel corn which I put up here to try first because that's kind of new I've never tried that before but that pretty much sums up the grocery haul I thought I would show you guys what we got for this month of August we don't really stock up like crazy crazy unless we're like low on meats and stuff we stock up on meat probably, like I said, once a month, and we get a meat package delivered some months also. So we do pretty good. Meat and produce gets delivered to us. But that is pretty much it. I thought I would give you guys a rundown. It is now 12.30. I will be eating lunch here pretty soon because I am getting kind of hungry. But earlier I just ate my cereal, brushed my teeth, took out some trash. Nothing fun. You guys know, which if you guys are new to my vlog channel, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. But if you guys did not know, I typically, I mean, I eat sweets just like everybody else. But when it comes to me and my consistent workouts, I pretty much, I would say, only eat sweets probably two to three times a week. I would say two to three times a week. Last night I had two of those little candies. They're little bite-sized candy so I had two of those and a bit of my pint of ice cream that I have a little pint from Stewart's so I had that my sister got me the chocolate chip cookie dough yeah chocolate chip cookie dough and it's one of my favorite flavors so obviously when I get into need temptation I eat that 